Are the black shirts back? Well, that's been the question uh, for quite a few seasons in Lincoln, and uh, we will ask it once again with uh, Chris Wall on the line from Husker Hype to break down the Nebraska defense with the season just about seven days away, less than just about everybody else in the country with a week zero game coming up against uh, Illinois. Chris, how's it going? Hey, Mark. It's going well. Thanks for having me on tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's break down the Nebraska defense, and uh, there should be a lot to go on since uh, 10 starters come back on this team on the defensive side. So they should be very experienced. That's an obvious, but uh, knowing their assignments and ready to roll this season. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think uh, the defense is one of obviously the bright spots for uh, you know the Huskers coming into the season. Um they should be good enough to win a couple games for them. I feel like those close games, I feel like the defense should be able to pull out a couple of them for them just alone. Uh, as you mentioned, I think it's uh, nine or 10 um, returners that they're, that they're returning. I think that's, I think that's tied for uh, the highest in the big 10. I think that's, that's leading the big 10 as far as um, starters returning on defense. Uh, so obviously the, uh, the experience, the knowledge of the system um, is huge. You know, I, I feel like Nebraska has had a lot of overturn lately and, and maybe they're finally uh, able to kind of, you know, not have to start so much from, from square one this year and, and more, more or less just hit the ground rolling. I think that's, that's kind of what coach Frost has been preaching also in practice, not necessarily just with defense, but with offense of, um, you know, uh, getting going right away. These are the guys you're going to be playing with um, and, and let's get ready to roll. Um, well, week zero. So, uh, I think the defense obviously is a, is a huge, huge standout and should be a huge reason that a lot of Husker fans should have some elevated hope um, this season. So when we start up front, uh, who do you like and who's coming back? And uh, should the pass rush be improved? Because that's obviously been a sore spot for a while. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. I just The pass rush is something I feel like I've harped on for the past almost decade. I, I, don't, I, I feel like... Um, Nebraska's just been really lacking that that third down and long uh, guy that's going to either get get to the quarterback or come close to getting the quarterback. I feel like the last guy that did that was maybe Randy Gregory. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they got to find that in somebody, and they've been looking for it. As far as guys that I like up there up front, um, I really like big Ty Robinson, Robinson up there. Um, huge kid. Um, quick off the ball. Uh, other guys up there, uh, big to have Ben Stilley back, Casey Rogers, uh, Damian Daniels, uh, just saw a clip of Jordan, Ry Jordan Riley the other day, uh, a transfer, a Juco transfer. This will be a second year in the system, I believe. So he'll, uh, he should maybe have an impact in there. And then hopefully some of those outside linebacker guys can, uh, can, can come off the edge like, uh, Garrett Nelson or Caleb Tanner. And then obviously I, one of my favorite, maybe all time defensive players, uh, Jojo, Jojo Delman coming back. Yeah. So if you take us through the rest of the linebackers, you started down that path there. Uh, that on the surface, I'm not a Nebraska guy, but it appears to be the strength of the defense and maybe the team. Yeah. Yeah. The linebacker core um, is looking solid. And, <clears throat> and not only just, I mean, the starters, I feel like the depth there um, is great. Obviously, Will Honus getting hurt was, was unfortunate, but you have, uh, Nick Heinrich, you have, um, you know, Jojo Doman, Caleb Tanner. Uh, and then another guy to really watch out for is uh, the Iowa Western transfer, I believe, Chris uh, Klarvik. Um, I haven't seen um, a lot on him, but I'm hearing that he's uh, doing really well in camp and um, he could make another really big impact also there for for the linebackers. Yeah, he was the guy that played a lot of football there. I know that, uh, and, and we're talking, I, I saw the number at one point, three, 400 tackles. So he's been on the field. He knows football. He's been on the field. Again, he's going to have to elevate his play, of course, because of the level of competition. Uh, Tyreek Johnson, former five-star from Ohio State, comes into the secondary. We heard anything in regards to whether he expects to be a factor? I think he absolutely expects to be a factor. Um, and I, I think he should be, I really like our defensive backs. I really, I really like this, the secondary this year. It's, it's, I'm really excited for that group. Um, with Tyreek Johnson, I believe he's probably kind of in a, in a battle for that other corner spot with, uh, 
maybe a guy like Quentin Newsom. Um, uh, Quentin Newsom, big, lengthy, fast corner, um, kind of that style that they're looking for. Uh, but I, I, I definitely believe that Tyreek Johnson will play play a factor there at corner alongside, you know, um, Cam Taylor Britt, um, who was obviously one of the huge, huge announcements um, that he was returning for another year uh, with the with a couple of the safeties. So uh, when it's all said and done, what's going to let you know that uh, this is a better defensive uh, performance than what it's been in recent years? Uh, and, and is that a reasonable expectation that they take a significant upgrade on that side of the ball? Um, I wouldn't know. I, I know if I would say significant, as significant as maybe the we should expect from the offense to take an upgrade. Uh, I I would hold. I would definitely believe that they would be a little bit a little bit better, if not better than than last year. I, I thought they were pretty good. I thought the defense was good enough to win a decent amount of games last year. Uh, it just was the offense kind of not showing up in the second half uh, here and there. Um, but I, I believe they'll take a step up just because of the experience and then and then the depth. I mean, you know how how important depth is in the Big Ten. I think depth's hurt depth has hurt uh, Nebraska a lot in the in the past. And I think the depth's there for, you know, one guy to have to, you know, possibly go down, another guy to have to step in. Uh the pass rush will be huge and and um like I said, those those linebackers. I think um I think as a whole the defense should be faster and i i think that that's hurt nebraska uh defensively in past years is is just not being quick to the edge uh they they've got beat to the edge a lot um been pretty stout uh up the middle i feel like that run defense up the middle but too many times just seeing a a quarterback come out on a third and seven and roll out of the pocket and and scramble for a first down that shouldn't happen so um, really look to to uh, see the experience, the leadership, and just uh, the speed pick up this year. You can catch Chris on uh, Twitter. Just go to Husker Hype, and uh, he's constantly tweeting on Husker football, of course, and giving his uh, thoughts and opinion and uh, retweeting from all over the map on Nebraska football. Uh, Chris, we appreciate you stopping by and breaking down uh, the Huskers. you got to be excited for uh, uh, football a little bit sooner than uh, just about everybody else across the nation. Man, I know. I, I can't believe it. It's coming up. I tweeted out uh, today, you know, you know, not tomorrow, not next Saturday, but the Saturday after that. And that's just that's just crazy to think about. And Nebraska's got a huge opportunity uh, in week zero to come out. And I mean, you know, that's that's a, the first game of the year. Every single college football fan is excited for college football. They're going to be watching that game. Uh, it's a, it's a should win. And I feel like it's a must win for Nebraska. Um, and, uh, and I think they'll be ready. So really excited for that game. Absolutely. Chris, thanks for stopping by. And if we don't talk to you, enjoy a uh, week one or week zero, week zero. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate it.